Okay, hey everyone, and a welcome in or a welcome back. It's a monkey mar. Before we get into today's video, please make sure you click the like, the subscribe, and the bell for notifications. Hey guys, a welcome in. I'm not sure if you have heard the update on the Amish girl. That was leaving church, Bible study, walking home, and she was kidnapped. Husto, smoker, and he just... Let's go ahead and get into this article so I can just read it to you. Man pleads guilty to kidnapping, killing young Amish woman. At a Lancaster, a man who led authorities to the remains of a young Amish woman in Pennsylvania pleaded guilty Friday to kidnapping and her demise. Husto Smoker, 35, pleaded guilty in Lancaster County to third-degree murder, kidnapping, and other offenses in the death of 18-year-old Linda Stoltzfus, who was last seen walking home from church in the Burden Hand area on June 21, 2020. Smoker was sentenced to 35 and a half to 71 years in prison. He faces an additional sentence of more than 17 years for violating parole from a previous series of burglaries and robberies. This effectively is a life sentence for Smoker. District Attorney Heather Adams said at a news conference after the hearing. We are going to check that news conference out. Before we get into that video, let's just go ahead and finish off this article. Authorities said they believed Smoker killed uh, Stoltzfus within a few hours of kidnapping her. Buried her in one location where her stockings and bra were later found. Then moved her body to another grave on railroad property behind the business where he worked. A coroner said... She was strangled and stabbed. Smoker led authorities to her remains in April as a condition of his plea agreement, Adams said. LNP newspaper reported that Smoker apologized to Stoltz Fu's family in court, saying he had robbed the family of time and memories. President Judge David Ashworth called Smoker a predator of the worst kind. Smoker was on parole from a string of armed robberies he committed in 2006. And from what I read, they used um, BB guns. He was released from prison in February 2019, 16 months before he kidnapped Stoltzfus. Just an absolute monster. All right, let's check out this video justice in a murder case that stretched on for more than a year. The man accused of killing Amish teen Linda Stoltzfus has been sentenced. Hannah Brandt breaks down how we got to this moment. Alicia, I want to take you through a quick timeline of this case. It was more than a year ago when Linda went missing on her walk home from church in Burdenhand on June 21st of 2020. Just a day later, she was officially reported missing and search parties started looking for her. Then on July 9th, investigators found Linda's clothes buried in the woods. And a day later, 34-year-old Eusto Smoker is arrested for kidnapping Linda. Then five months later, in December, the Lancaster County District Attorney announced that Smoker will be charged with her murder. But it wasn't until late April that officers found Linda's body buried behind Smoker's former workplace at Dutchland, Inc. And that brings us to today, when a guilty plea from Eusto Smoker brought this devastating case to a close. There is no easy way to get to justice. There's no magical formula. The formula that put Eusto Smoker behind bars is a plea deal. There is so, simply no question that justice has been served. But this moment came after more than a year of painstaking searching and investigating. You have to remember, she had no digital footprint, so she did disappeared in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so it was a part, it was a long process, and it wasn't an easy process. Less than a month after Linda's disappearance, police had figured out that Eustace Smoker was behind her murder, but her family was desperate to get her body back. The family's interest in, in giving Linda a proper burial, that did become paramount, not only for them, but, but for us, 
but it did not undermine our other goals of securing a murder conviction and securing a sentence uh, that would protect the public for what is the rest of his natural life. So the district attorney's office made a deal with Smoker. He showed them where he buried Linda's body near the train tracks behind his old workplace at Dutchland Inc. And he confessed to kidnapping Linda, strangling her with a shoelace and stabbing her. In return, he avoided trial. Learning the additional details of Linda's death has been heartbreaking and difficult, to say the least. But bringing Linda home was a critical component of our mission to secure justice for Linda. Smoker was on parole for robbery convictions when he killed Linda. So for violating his parole, he has to serve up to 17 years. And after that, he starts serving the sentence in the plea deal, which is a minimum of 35 and a half years and a maximum of 71 years. Prosecutors believe that's justice for Linda and the community. Society will be protected from Smoker for what will likely amount to the rest of his natural life. Okay, this is actually the third time I am recording this. Let's see if I can get it done this time. Another heinous, unnecessary crime. And, you know, I'm not saying nothing for nothing, but was kidnapped. She was walking home. She was over here at this house for Bible study, right here. And she was walking home in the middle of the day, out here in mostly Amish country, I want to think. Who's the smoker? Didn't live around here. So what was he doing? Just cruising the streets looking for an opportunity to grab somebody? And to grab a young Amish girl? Doesn't make sense. It just shows you how completely messed up this world is. And then he got out 16 months on an early release before he decided to come creeping down these roads and then we make a left onto Beach Dale and we know from all of the articles and the news stories that some camera caught him. She was walking home and he got her on Beach Dale. Let me pop into the latest on 2011. Okay, so we're in 2019. And I wondered from the aerial if she actually walked a long way or if she cut through. And I couldn't tell if this was a little creek or not, but it's definitely a little canal, river, whatever you want to call it. Now, I do not think every house out here is Amish because here we've got some vehicles. I thought maybe that was a camera because the camera did catch. Well, there's an air conditioning, so I don't think... Do Amish people have air conditioning? Wonder what that is. I would love to go out to this area and buy a quilt from the Amish. I think they're just definitely some neat people. Very simple people. Okay, back onto this road trip. That looks like an Amish house. Canned goods. Okay. Well, we know for a fact that he was seen on camera driving back and forth, getting out of his car walking towards her and then boom the car goes out of camera and she is gone and this is where she lived right did i pass it right here no nope. right here on the left okay here we are so she had to get right here and the sign right here reads 519 beachdale stoltz Foos home improvements so that's where she was going look at this little boy selling little bird feeders hey kid what are you eating on his little bike simple people huh he's looking at us selling little bird feeders all right let's get back into this aerial i'm gonna show you so linda was leaving Stumptown road she was going home to 519 beachdale and let me just show you in comparison where Husto lived. He lived over here near Lehman Junction. And how far away is that from where he was creeping? Let's see. About five miles. Husto lived right here. in this a little apartment complex that actually had a car that was on fire. I think the day that Linda went missing, there was a 911 fire department call. And there was a minivan or something in the parking lot and it was on fire. And if you notice to the railroad tracks, so right here, 3104 Harvest is where, in the beginning, if you remember, they actually found some of her clothing articles. So what they're saying now, I guess Husto told them the whole story since led them to her remains. 
that it was behind a dumpster in this area. I mean, it could be uh, this dumpster. It could be behind the place, maybe on the railroad track side. That I don't know. So then they're saying that he came back and he moved her. And he moved her behind the business where he works. He's not the brightest tool in the shed. And I'm pretty sure from the pictures that I do have that she was left on the tracks, which are right here, somewhere back here, between the business and the tracks at Dutch Land. Just, I mean, it's just a, doesn't even make sense. People that go out and do this to other people's loved ones and kids and parents and cousins and grandkids and I just and he made a plea deal that he would bring them to her remains as long as he didn't get the death sentence I am going to go slow motion through his police arrest record if you guys want to pause it and check it out go ahead I might even upload it to my drive but I'm sure you guys can check it out just fine here so Linda Stoltzfus may you rest in peace gone too soon and let me think if there's anything else i want to add i don't think so all right guys drop them comments drop them opinions and with that it is a wrap i want to thank you all for coming in thank you for watching please like or dislike whichever you prefer and subscribe everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay vigilant. I am out.